So this is a 3 elements Yagi for the commercial frequency. The intended frequency of use is 149 to 153 MHz. But this antenna is designed to operate from 148 to 156 MHz going to Cavite for Mr. Simon Paredes. So let's check the antenna configuration. We have an SO239 feed point attached to the boom and the gamma match. So the SO239 is directly coupled to the boom attached to our gamma match. Make sure that you connect securely the PL2 pipeline connector to the antenna that is now connected to a coaxial feed line and RG8 coaxial cable going to my N121 SA antenna analyzer. Let's check the other side. So we have the antenna mounting bracket. I have marked the elements with numbers with their corresponding numbers on the boom so you just need to put back the elements with their corresponding numbers on the boom secure it with bolts and nuts same with the other elements the uh, driven elements is marked as number 2 and the uh, director is marked as number 3 so make sure also that you tighten the nut of the SO239 connector to connect it securely on the boom. We have the plastic spacers. You just need to secure it with cable tie. One at the bottom and one on top. So this is the tuning stub. I have marked the placement of the tuning stub with marking tapes so you just need to put back the tuning stub in between those marking tapes and that is attached with a butterfly nut so let's check the frequency response of this antenna by going to the antenna analyzer so the center frequency That's my cat. Say hi to Garfield. Let's continue. We have the antenna center frequency at 152. The SWR is 1.2 with antenna return loss of minus 19.50 dB and our impedance at 42 ohms. The antenna is inductive or reactance is 5 ohms. So let's check the other frequencies going down. At 151, it's 1 1.3. 150 is 1 1.4. 149 is 1 1.4. 148 is 1 1.5. So let's go up. One fifty two is the center. One fifty three is one point two as well. One fifty four is one point three. One fifty five is one point four. And one fifty six as one point six. So let's check the frequency carb of this antenna. So as we can see here, we have one hundred forty eight. This is S11 or antenna return loss at minus 19.5 dB. So we need to move to VSWR carb. So the VSWR carb from 148 to 156 are scanning frequency. The bottom frequency is 148 and the upper frequency is 156. Our center frequency is 152. As we can see, the dip on the carb is around 152 at 1 1.2 SWR. 148 is around 1 1.5. And 156 is around 
1.6 so let's recheck that by moving the car sore so let's check the lowest dip it's around 152.6 at 1.2.29 still 1.2 150 is 1.4 149 is 1.4 and 148 is 1.5 so let's go up 153 is 1.2 154 is 1.3 155 is 1.4 and 156 is 1.6 so this antenna is properly working and is ready for shipping to Mr. Simon Paredes going to Cavite. So thank you for watching. Until next time.